Hello and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder and his amazing hacks. In this video I'm going to show you an obscure method for mages to do literally infinite damage in Ice Crown. You will be able to one-shot players, NPCs and bosses doing hundreds of thousands of damage in seconds. Now the focus of the pre-patch content is in Ice Crown. Just to summarize, players are tasked with completing daily repeatable quests in the zone and face off against old dungeon and raid bosses that appear in rotation in exchange for catch-up gear and cosmetic rewards. Now, where this gets interesting is that on the very edge of Ice Crown is the Storm Peaks and a largely unvisited zone called Valkyria. Here, there are a number of mobs called Valkyrian Aspirants. These NPCs have an ability called Metanoia. This increases crit damage taken and received by 50%. The tooltip also claims that this increases the caster's chance to crit by 25%. However, what it doesn't say is that this only applies to melee combat. So what you can do is steal some of these buffs and then take them somewhere in the new phased version of Ice Crown and vaporize everything that moves. It is a lot of fun. Now if we fly down the hill from Valkyrian into Ice Crown we can test our damage on these max level mobs. The first mob takes a massive 6 million damage hit. A truly extraordinary number given that we've just had a stat squish. The next crit gives us a still very impressive 2.5 million, but you can see here how dramatically the damage is reduced as the Metanoia buffs fall off your character. The final crit gives us 1.5 million as more buffs fall off, so you can see we have a very narrow window in which to do game-breaking damage. Now this is all very well in theory, but what kind of damage can we do in practice? Well, it's still pretty cool. There's literally nothing in the zone you can't kill this way. Look how fast you can take down this rare boss with half a million HP. You can do this to grind up catch-up gear for your alts if you've got a second account or a friend to help you and you play off peak. Or you can use it to grind enough Scourge Stones for the cosmetic rewards. Now, how do you do this efficiently? The simplest way is to just use a mix of Body Pull and Spell Steel to aggro as many Valkyrian Aspirants as possible. Then Spell Steel as quickly as possible. You'll need to drop combat quickly once you've done that. You can just kill the mobs or you can use Invisibility. This is the fastest method, but you can only get around half a dozen buffs using this approach before you run out of mana. A couple of tricks here. It's a good idea to kill the nascent Valkyrs around the Aspirant mobs, as they tend to get in the way and slow everything down. Additionally, don't try this with a flying mount, as if the flying mount goes even a few centimetres into the air, all the aspirant mobs will reset and you'll have to start the kiting process again. 
The chauffeur mount is a good one to use here if you've got it because it goes at a slower speed than regular mounts so you don't end up going too far away from the aspirant mobs when kiting them and unintentionally resetting them. A coastal mana potion also helps with mana when doing the spell stealing. There's a very advanced strategy which allows you to pick up a lot of metanoia buffs at once, significantly more than the crude strategy I just mentioned. You will need a partner or a second account with a monk that's at least level 10 for this. Pull as many aspirant mobs as you can using the monk in a 5 to 10 second interval. Then wait precisely 2 minutes and pull more aspirants till you've got as many as you need. This takes longer than the Krug method, but you can keep all the buffs in sync with this approach, meaning the mage can spell steal all of them with the buff duration close to the maximum of two minutes. This can allow you to do hundreds of thousands of damage, maybe even millions, in seconds. Now with this more complex approach, you want to use arcane spec on your mage, at first to spell steal all the buffs. The reason for this is that in arcane spec the mana cost of spell steal is much smaller. Switch back into fire spec when you've finished. You must use fire when actually attacking anything and the reason for that is that you only benefit from the metanoia buffs if your spells crit and fire mages are designed to crit all the time through the use of their fire blast and combustion spells. The other mage specs just don't crit enough to take full advantage. So having done that, you now have a super powered mage that can kill anything. Now while it is certainly possible to stack up buffs to do very high damage indeed, there's a trade off in terms of the time taken to go through the process. Every time you spell steal another metanoia buff, the duration on previous buffs reduces. What I'm primarily doing in this video is flying to whatever rare boss is spawning on the map at the moment and toasting the horde. The exact location of the boss changes the optimal number of buffs you want. If the boss is halfway across the map, then if you steal too many buffs they will all drop off before you get to the rare location, so you might want to steal only 6 to 8 buffs. If the boss spawn is closer to Valkyrian, you might be able to get away with as many as 16 or more buffs. Bear in mind that you are not invincible. In fact, the buffs make you more vulnerable to crit damage than normal. There's a limit to the number of enemies you can take on with this. Mages are often described as a glass cannon. With this approach, you're more of a grenade. For this reason, it's a good idea to get creative and find ways to ambush the opposite faction. For example, using gliders and snowfall, as you can see in the PvP footage I've shown. No one really expects to be attacked from above. Now, always with this type of video, someone asks, can you get banned for doing this? You can get banned for anything if you trigger enough reports. However, if you aren't too antisocial with this trick, you should be fine. I've actually been using this trick since the Mr. Pranderia pre-patch, when it was possible to one-shot raid bosses in their current tier content. And I've mentioned it in several videos since then, clearly explaining how the buff works. So it's not like Blizzard haven't had more than enough opportunities to fix it. So there's the video. If you liked it, why not subscribe? And if you really liked it, why not consider joining my super secret Patreon feed? In particular, we have several secret techniques that are absolutely game-breaking for gathering and gold-making at the start of Shadowlands. Gold per hour tends to be at its absolute highest at the start of an expansion. Here's a montage of all the fun I had with this exploit.
small indie company. 